There we go, a little bit early, because for some reason the timer didn't start when the stream started. But uh, yeah, alright everyone, welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Is your Mike Lieutenant Rukir at your service, and happy Halloween! <laughs> happy Halloween, everyone. 
And yeah, normally people would be streaming a bunch of spooky games, but well, we're already fighting the, the inevitable chaos of uh, existence with this game. So uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we'll be continuing with Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising. And let's see, last time, well, we found out that, well, <laughs> in a game called Chaos Rising, there are actually, well, chaos rising <laughs> up to the top. <laughs> Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one. Don't know why it keeps putting these two up top here. I might delete them just to clean the, the clean the, clean things up a bit. Uh, I think I forgot something. <laughs> yep. Along with. Here's your mother to here at your service. Can you want to say that? Uh, not sure, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> I might be overheating a little bit because the temperature over here is dropping, so I'm wearing like a, let's see, one, two, three layers of clothes at the moment. So, yeah. Just grab a blanket. Okay. I see the pajamas and a winter blanket with a pillow behind my back, my recliner. <laughs> Because I swear, I think I almost fell asleep in yesterday. On the okay. stream. Yeah, when we were playing Nesese with uh, <clears throat> with Ram, Liz, and X. Now, let me have a little look around yep. for how everyone is <laughs> here. I, I think as long as you have only four points in here, you will stay, well, pure in the eyes of the Emperor. Because at the moment it says that for everyone, it, even though <clears throat> even though Thaddeus has one point of corruption, we might want to get rid of that at some point, though. Though I think I will at one point show off at least one corrupted uh, weapon. Uh, we'll just have to see which and what then. But for now, we have access to our Terminator armors back uh, again, as well as some junk stuff. Okay, uh, Gift of Mars, Superior, gone with that, and that's another level. Uh, let's just continue up with the tanking. Now, let's see. You have the Armor of Azurai, Crusade Eternal, and Ages of Horius. Let's see, 50... F okay, that's in order. Might as well give, well, the heaviest to the actual tank here. It also got us unkillable. As the Force Commander's health drops, he gains a sub consumer rate resistance to further damage. Okay. I would like it if they gave more detailed stats and stuff like this. Like, does it mean that he gets like 10% resistance at 90% health, 20% uh, of 80, that sort of stuff? Because for all we know, it's least... not that big as you'd think. Or at is a word that people know? Like, what does consumer rate mean? I think it means in this case that the uh, an equal but opposite, sort of. Actually, I'll, I'll just freaking Google it right here now. Commensurate uh, meaning. Let's see. Corresponding in size or degree in proportion. Okay, yeah. Now, uh, let's re equip some stuff here. We want. Let's see. Cyrus is really good with these, but let's keep them on here for the moment. Same with that. They <laughs> 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 were responding to the Wolverine uh, Claws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Terminator Lightning Claws. Oh, 20% movement yeah, no. speed on these as well. That's going to help with how slow these things can be. I used to do some random upon. Terminator armor was originally meant for mining uh, equipment before they weaponized them. Yeah, of so course. with those claws, you look like a killer mole. Let's see. Two to will oh, or God. melee. Let's give you this one. Though we don't have any assault cannons for you at the moment to use. So let's see. This one has default of 21.5. Okay, and how much damage do the typical uh, heavy bolters for you do? That's the normal bolter. Uh, 22. That's a master. That's 22. 
Hmm. It's about equal, actually. Let, let's see. 10%... Uh, 10, 18, 34. Okay. 10, 30. Let's see. Okay, it's less attack speed, a little bit more accuracy, but more range, which is good for, well, the heavy weapons guy who is supposed to be at the back. Let's see, he can't use grenades while in the armor, but, well, he, he's only used those once or so. Uh, uh, let's be honest, how the heck do you use grenades with those hands? And true. I'm pretty sure it's practically impossible for them to... Actually, I'm pretty sure these pauldrons make it absolutely impossible for them to raise their hand above their shoulder height. But it looks like, yeah, those are stuck to the main armor, not to the, uh, to the arms themselves. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it oh, makes yeah. sense. Miner, for mining, it doesn't need to be as mobile. Okay. Um, we have one more set, so let's give that to Thaddeus, since he's the only one left besides Tarkus who can use one, and we want Tarkus to stay in his power armor, since then he can be chucking grenades every day, all day. Okay. Hmm. Anything here we'd like to put on you? The Rosarius might be useful, since... Thaddeus is still rather vulnerable, even with so much points into male, uh, into health. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. Thaddeus is still the one the part is behind in levels, but Thaddeus is also rather behind. So I am tempted to give this to him, the Contemplation of the Codex, which gives him a substantial experience boost. No. I don't know if it'll actually give him a full level or such, or multiple. Hmm. Well, let's save it for the moment, at least. And let's put Thaddeus back in for the moment, so we can see about getting rid of that corruption on him. And let's see. The Bloody Hand, the Tyranid Graveyard. Sight of the, uh, the sight of the Blood Raven's heroic defeat of the Tyranid High Fleet. This valley remains littered with the rotting remains of the Xenos. Imperial Shrines celebrate the victory. Or celebrating the victory, now mark key areas. Okay. The Eldar have reappeared, hmm. Commander. They have congregated at the site of our climactic battle against the Tyranids. The Black Legion must take priority. But ignoring the Eldar is unwise. At your discretion, pursue and eliminate these Xenos. Okay, they've brought forth another avatar. And this is a bonus mission, but it does give us a multi-melta and another suit of Terminator armor. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Vengeance. Torquus King Corruption if he does not deploy on this mission. Okay, uh, yeah, that's also something that can happen here and there. That's missions will have a requirement for someone to show up, or well, they will uh, get corruption from just being left out. And he has something to say here. Even with the traitor legions assailing us, we must oppose the Eldar. Remember that they manipulated the orcs on Calderas and attempted to destroy all of Meridian. I owe their species a debt of blood and fury, Commander. Yeah, I'm pretty much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all of you do, but since this is an optional one, I'll leave that aside for now. I'm pretty. Hmm. I don't know if not doing it will cause corruption as well, but let's not try and find out. So let's have a look. There's the rescue, the bloody hand here, and Legion's uprising. Okay, we don't have multiple deployments per day anymore, so we do need to be more careful with these optional time-limited ones. So I say yeah. we go, we do the rescue, then Legion's Uprising, and then the Bloody Hand. So that's not a good idea. And also, you made me remember something I l learned uh, recently again and a while ago. <coughs> Pardon? And that's Space Marine armor is very much made for combat for the primary known as Gilman. It was apparently needed to be stuck in his arm for a while, or still needs to. Really struggle to do paperwork. 
the course of the armor. <laughs> I think I read a, or not read, I've heard of a, a bit like that from a 40k series, I believe. They also do videos just summarizing a lot of lore. And I've done a, a few on some of the Primarchs, I think. And I think there was a scene that he described where just one of them was <laughs> trying to do paperwork in armor and not having any luck with it at all. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> he had cracked a yoke. He surprised... I forgot about he, who he surprised. But apparently there was no record of Gilman actually making yokes. He actually did make jokes in lore a few times, but no one would record it. Okay, definitely was that scene then that uh, they did describe. I might need to look that up again. Yeah, yeah mm. I actually felt for sort of him not being able to pick up a damn pencil with his armored fingers. Yeah, let's see. I see the, the, look, the descriptions on some of the regions have changed, it seems. Uh, Siwal oh. Ruins. Deep in the dune sea of Caldaris's great desert, great ruins peak from beneath the sands. Tyranid infestation was especially pronounced in this region, which still features the dried husk of alien hives. Commander, the Black Legion is attacking a detachment of Blood Raven scouts. Sergeant Priam led a group of initiates to investigate an intermittent positioning signal emanating from the depths of the Caldaris desert. They expected to recover the remains of Brothers Lost during the Tyranid War. They found the Black Legion laying in wait. We cannot allow the Chaos Legions to destroy them. Okay, so the same trick that got us to the Ice Bowl in the first place. Priam to command. We require tactical aid and fire support. Under attack from Chaos Space Marines. We are making for Seawall Ruins. Traitor legions have already killed eight scouts and taken five others. Hostage would probably need would probably not be the best word since they'd probably just make use them to sacrifice them. Okay, rescue the scouts, defeat the chaos attackers, allowing too many scouts to die corrupts all squads. And yeah, this one <laughs> Cyrus wants to come along with real bad. And let's see, a false sorcerer commands the fo a force of the space marines and plague marines. Time is short, move quickly or initiates will die. Okay, I think that me I think Avatars might not be the you know, best choice for this then. Since, well, we need to move fast. So, Thule is also out. Uh, let's see, Tarkas. Okay, I, I thought I managed to fix that little border issue. You can still see that there's like a slight misalignment of like a pixel or two in the text there. But apparently not. Another falsified chapter signal. This is Eliphas's handiwork. I am certain of it. And that of the turncoat who gave the signal rights to him. Okay. And Cyrus. I trained Priam and several of those initiates myself. I will not abandon them now. I am going on this mission. <laughs> Not even a request, just straight up, I am going, whether you want me or not. Okay. It's a bit less heavily fortified or heavily armed than usual. Let me still double check. Is there anything better that we can equip you with? So, almost double damage, so that thing can go. Less damage. Uh, flamer. Okay. Thaddeus, you have the armor, but you, you have basic Terminator weapons, but that should still be pretty good. And just, again, the size of that fucking hammer. <laughs> hammer time! Okay, uh, Cyrus, actually, I believe Cyrus can but, use oh, these without energy, I think, now. Uh, gonna fix a thing here. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're using stimulant kits. They use is energy based. Yeah. And while well, he has a lot of energy to work with, and let's see, this is a yeah. That's the redemption seal. And okay, it does look like we got doubles of some of the items because we have two signums. Oh no. <laughs> okay, this is odd. Number of communication arrays secured on the orbited planet determines my number of users. And this one is limited use. 
Okay, but we don't have... I don't think communication arrays are much of a thing anymore. So let's go with the limited use one. And... Yeah. Let's get moving. Commander. Oh, seems they are still a uh, thing. Securing automated, for, or automated foundries, imperial shrines, and communication arrays give you an edge in your crusade against chaos. Firstly, the squad who secures one of these assets earns redemption for his acts of uh, corruption. Secondly, securing each asset type awards you with a special uh, piece of war gear, a signum, a rosarius, or locator beacon. These powerful artifacts grant the ability to call artillery strikes, gain temporary invulnerability, or deploy heavy bolter turrets. Each one of these items starts with a single use, but can be replenished in the field with strategic supplies dropped from the supply crate. Okay. Hello. What in the Emperor's name are they doing? Abducting my initiates. Chaos minions are attacking in force, Commander. Our initiates need support. Okay, I think that was audible, but yeah, less, there's lightning going on outside now. What? Yeah, I saw the microphone bar move, and there's uh, thunder going out of, on our sides. You have thunder on Halloween! Yep. Okay, it feels to me here someone actually had that on Halloween. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, we need to save as many scouts as we can. Another group of traitors took prisoners and headed west. Emperor only knows what fate the heretics have in store for them. Peace, Priam. The Blood Ravens will not abandon their own. We will find these initiatives. Okay, I did not expect to run into a tank here. Uh, Thaddeus does not have to melt the bombs with him. Luckily, we are well, facing the ass of this thing. Ooh, Cyrus, careful. Holy! Okay, yeah. <laughs> Cyrus, there you are. Be vigilant. Okay. Scout squad ready for orders. The enemy is here, Commander. The and now that we have our Terminator armor back, it should be a lot easier to just shove these guys around quite literally at times. Okay. Cyrus, keep up. That's, oh, that's a plague marine. Okay, at least it's not a, that dangerous, as dangerous as the one we faced before at the array. Okay. Tarkus, eviction note. Cyrus, how I want to fuck off. And then run just finish off. Oh, hello. Okay, it's just cultists, so they'll just get shot down, uh, down easily enough. Uh, Tarkus, another eviction needed. Oh, that's a Melta weapon, okay. Yeah, those, those scouts are going to get vaporized by that. And that was another flash outside, so another... Praise the Emperor! We will vanquish these heretics yet! That one flew? Oh, you just touch or have some uh, lightning protection. Uh, where, where the fuck did that tank come from? Where are we? Uh, from behind. Yeah. Wherever it came from, it's going to the scrapyards. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, even if lightning strikes here, I have uh, one of those independent power units. So, 
I should at least be able to close everything off safely. Yeah, everyone focus down in Dreadnoughts. I'm another as well. And it's a thing that it, it, it gives me a like, uh, one hour or something. If uh, something was to happen, or at least... I should know that it's more of a... Uh, ...protect uh, my computer from the uh, harmful shots. Oh, yeah. I completely missed that there's a foundry here. Okay. We might be able to capture that some other time then. Counter dying! Yeah. yeah. There. You focus those down. Carcass. If... Start. Evict them. Okay, we lost five of them. Okay, and these were facing a dreadnought, so that makes sense. Oh, thanks, brothers. There is the sorcerer who leads these traitors. He dies. Okay, quickly capture that point. And we haven't actually needed to use the uh, health kit here. Still will use it just to... I was going to... Actually, no, that doesn't refill the... Uh, the squad mates. For a thousand years, I have cultivated the power of the Dark Gods. Well, that's a familiar voice. Yeah, and uh, let's hear destroying the chaos portal redeems all squads. Okay. Now something like to, to be on the do list. Hostiles. Uh, yeah, just fights. We. So within you tremble and cry. Use a grenade. Fabius. Uh, there he is. Lost sight of him for a moment. Okay, these guys are doing some ritual. Let's dis disrupt that. Cyrus. Oh. Okay, Chains of Torment. Your power is meager. Your courage faults. And I'm sending Thaddeus this way to quickly try and capture that. Come here. Uh, Okay, I was going to say the commander and Cyrus can keep him busy, but, uh... Pull back, you. Since the medic is kind of down at the moment. <laughs> okay, someone got a face full of melt out there. Okay. Gladius, finish them off. Yep. Okay. Just how freaking strong is this sorcerer? We'll take it. Yeah, the sorcerer of siege. Okay, quickly resurrect Tarkus. Also, if once you're done with that, just calling the big guns. You pull back. I should have probably learned about the traitor legions for that. Was, there are some traitor legions I know right away. But I also like, don't know really too much about like, the black and alpha legion. Okay, Thaddeus, come over here. Okay. You two get back in. We're going to lose some experience. Ooh. For people going down. Uh, hold on. There. Actually, Cyrus, you stay back a bit. Yep. Okay, and he just gets absolutely nuked. Okay. What level are you? 23. Okay, and. Uh, Cyrus. Uh, 
Cy Cyrus back, you mean? An outfat? Okay, the, the heck is this guy made of? What level are you? 22. How is this guy so freaking strong? Scout squad ready for orders. We simply cannot afford weakness, brother. Okay. Yeah. Go get that. Cyrus. Stand ready. Get into cover at the very least. Thaddeus reporting for reinforcements. Damn it. Get rid of those. I, I think we destroyed it. We love Okay, dude, how does this... He does take a lot of damage as well in turn. But still... That is... Okay, we can't knock this guy around. And Cyrus just gets absolutely nuked again. Every okay, everyone got tied Sergeant down there. Ryan, report. Captain Diomedes? What is the honor guard doing on Calderis? We go where the chapter wills. Now report. Of course, Captain. The Black Legion used a chapter locator signal to ambush us. How they obtained it, I... Facts, Sergeant. Do not speculate. Here are the facts, Captain. The Black Legion killed many scouts, but abducted more. This is the second trap! Thaddeus, be quiet. Enough, Sergeants. Commander, take your strike team and return to your strike cruiser. Await further orders. Sergeant Priam, gather your initiates and prepare for transport to Firebase Argus. The events of this day are to remain strictly secret. Knowledge is power, Blood Ravens. Guard it well. I think that I think our team is getting weighed down a bit by their armor, seeing as most of them were partially in the ground. <laughs> And yeah, the Honor Guard is here. <laughs> Blade of the Unrelenting. Yeah, let's see. We did kill most of them. Well, every one of them. <laughs> Zero squad main conscience. Okay, actually pretty good on speed. Typically we only get three. Yeah. A few levels, but a bit light on the loot. Let's see. The Blade of the Unrelenting. Rounds limited in vulnerability, plus 15 armor rating to all nearby allies, plus 120, not 102 damage to Chaos Space Marines. Yeah, someone's going to be Ooh. wielding that. Anointed by Azurai Vijay himself in the early days of the chapter, this holy power sword deals massive damage to the means of the ruinous powers. In addition, if the wielder is reduced to low health, holy relics in, this, uh, in the sword project a force field, causing incoming damage to reduce energy instead of health. Okay. That is something you... That last bit is more you some expected in the blue text with the perks and such, but oh well. You put it with the flavor text, so did Commander, you? Commander, I recommend that you depart Calderas as soon as possible. Captain Diomedes is initiating a stand-down order for all Blood Ravens on the planet. You must continue your pursuit of the Black Legion. Why would Diomedes prevent us from doing that? The Chapter Master dislikes contact with the Black Legion. Diomedes will enforce his will. Davian is correct, Commander. Chapter Master Kyrus has pulled Blood Ravens back from battles with the Black Legion before. He might abandon this whole sector instead of facing that band of traitors. That would leave our recruiting worlds to the enemy. 
Precisely. You must stop these raids before that happens. Angelos out. Commander, I have been reviewing the data we recovered from the Astronomic Array. I believe the ancient space hulk designated Judgment of Carrion is about to appear in this sector. It may allow us to identify our traitor. Should you require more information, I am at your disposal. Okay, I failed to see how getting to a space hulk will help identify a traitor in the ranks, but the Tech Marine probably knows something that we don't. And uh, yeah, this is another flying the ointment. And we can talk to him. Yeah. The Judgment of Carrion has a conglomeration of ancient vessels which have become adrift in space and time. It travels at random, spending decades or even centuries in the warp. If I may, its travels are not entirely random. Only the Emperor can know what horrific planes the Judgment of Carrion has visited. But its recorded appearances have all been in this sector or in one of its neighbors. Yes, and because of that, the Astronomic Array had a detailed record of past appearances. A distinctive pattern of warp anomalies preceded each appearance. And that pattern is occurring again. Precisely. How does any of this blather help identify the traitor? The machine spirit aboard the Retribution is not sufficient to remove the masking on the message you recovered. But there are references to a far more ancient and wiser logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion. With it, I can identify the heretic. Okay, so that's why there's a there's a there's a there's a computer with a better processor on board that should be able to crack the encryption. Okay, and Thaddeus has something to say. Concerns about Captain Diomedes. Diomedes is a hero of the chapter. Why keep us from the fight? Diomedes has always been a political animal. If the chapter master wants the Blood Ravens off Calderas, Diomedes will not question him. Captain Diomedes does his duty, as should we if such an order comes. Enough. The enemy is kidnapping our initiates and laying traps for us across the sector, and we should do nothing? It is not my duty to follow the edicts of fools. Yeah, he puts that well. If the chapter master is being an idiot, then the chapter master should not be the chapter master. Okay. Oh dear. Thaddeus has lost all his corruption. That should mean that everyone is without at the moment. Let's see. Yeah, zero. And zero. Yeah, th there should be even a little bit of red if there was any. Uh, let's see. Tarkus. You are very close to getting this maxed out, but not yet. Any armor that we have that is better than yours at the moment? No. And I'm not, I'm not, giving, you, <laughs> I'm not giving you the blighted one. Thaddeus, let's see. What's this? Vanguard veterans. Thaddeus leads a squad of Vanguard veterans more resilient and better equipped than standard assault marines. When Thaddeus wounds enemies upon landing or teleporting, he inspires nearby allies, restoring some of their health. Okay, so he'd be, that would make him also very good. Well, that would give another reason for him to uh, just be jumped on top of other squads that are forced into melee. Like, say, if Tarkus is taunting a bunch of uh, melee uh, enemies. Uh, let's see, Avatus. Let's max that out. Yeah, ta -ta -ta. yeah. instantly killed when under 20%. Okay. Hmm. Holy. This, this is really strong against Chaos Marines, but the problem, or quote unquote problem, is that we'll need to take off someone's Terminator armor to actually put it to use. Okay. Uh -oh. For now, though, we go to the <clears throat> to the last area that we can actually go towards in the game, the Judgment of Carrion. This ancient space hulk is an, am an amalgam of de many derelict craft, all adrift in the warp. Ancient technologies and unknown horrors are said to wait in within. Oh, I would be able to do, do the other missions first. Oh, right. Uh, we should check those over before they expire, yeah. 
But yeah, space hawks. Basically, your they're sort of like. Ship a... is hiding, Tech Marine. Hold your tongue, Avidus, and open your eyes. Judgment of Carrion. Commander, I have uncovered another transmission from the traitor. We should review it before launching another mission. And yeah, a space hawk. These things are basically like, uh, I guess you could call them reefs in the warp that accumulates from, well, all sorts of uh, crashed craft or just craft that got lost in the warp because that's also a, always a risk that you may enter the warp but never come back out and end up uh, as part of one of these uh, colossi. Yeah, and... made up of one or many, many ships and meteorites and all the scrap. And the yeah. biggest <laughs> one could turn into a certain attack moon body orcs and almost invaded <laughs> earth with it yeah and uh, as you could see from the cinematic we are not done with the tyranids that's yeah. cyrus tyranids love nesting on space holes for some reason yeah but it, it gives them plenty of time to breathe uh, let's see what's this transmission cyrus like Martellus, I have been trying to identify the traitor using our shipboard cogitators. Have you made any progress? Of a sort. This message was in our own transmission tomes. Angelos has us charging around the sector on the retribution. They know about me, or at least that I exist. Only the Vox Cloak Invocator has masked my identity thus far. The traitor is here, aboard the retribution. He is one of us. Well, shit. Okay. Yeah. Let's first take a look around again. We have this one here with two days left. And let's see. Tome of Quickening. Okay. One day left. Then we go here. Then fight the Avatar again. And then we go to the Space Hulk. Okay. Let's see, no new armor for anyone. And I don't think we have anything that's specifically effective against the Avatar. Commander, the Vandus heresy continues to spread. Vandus yep, the Avatar is next. Yeah. forces have taken Spire Legis. They have erected artillery batteries and emplacements that make a large-scale assault impossible. If you can disable these defenses, however, the Imperial Guard can retake the Spire. If not, the population of Legis will remain at the mercy of these heretics and demons. Okay, how do we disable the defenses? The Vandus heretics are using field generators to power their batteries. Destroy these generators and the Black Temples defending them, and the batteries will fall silent. Foul sorcerers have also established warp portals which allow the Black Legion to bring in reinforcements. Sealing these portals should stem the tide of enemies long enough for you to destroy the generators. Okay, and Thaddeus wants to come along, so let's hear him. Yeah, let's hear him out. You are sending me to Spire Legis, Commander. Is that an order, Sergeant Thaddeus? No, no, forgive me, Commander. I request to be part of the Strike Force. Long ago, Spire Legis was my home. I will not see its people sacrificed to chaos. <laughs> Okay, that, that is something I like about Thaddeus. Even though he is a space marine now, he is probably the one who is closest to being a salamander, closest to the people. Yeah, I like that. But what is the reward? Uh, let's see, it's a Tome of Quickening. It's another spell for Jonah. Oh, that's why... The... <laughs> yeah. I thought we were about to get another librarian, that's what I call Okay, Avatus, you can come along again. Okay. And here we go. Okay, Governor DeRosa and House Vandis. 
During the Tyranid invasion, Governor Gregor Vandus fled and left his sector to die. Elena de Rosa, once Vandus' adjutant, yeah, adjutant uh, exposed his cowardice and seized power herself, providing critical aid to the Blood Ravens. De Rosa's actions helped save the sector, but the nobles of Meridian remained leery. Their support, and their support has been lukewarm at best. This discontent allowed Eliphas to warm his influence into the militias of House Vandus, converting them into a heretical cult in the vanguard of the Black Legion. I do like, like these, that they put these things in for people who buy this game without having played the, the base game. Oh well, yeah, but also for people who <laughs> have both games. Yeah, so it's always nice to... a bit of context. And yeah, never fresher. Yeah, for new players, it a gives you a... The warp. a summary. As long as it remains open, the enemy can summon reinforcements. Key targets are on oh. your map display, Commander. If you destroy the enemy's generators and strongholds, the Imperial Guard can retake Spire Legis. Okay. A temple. They have established a temple to the powers of chaos. Destroy this foul den. There is no time to waste. Okay, Thaddeus, jump on top of his ass immediately. Tarkus. Just... Get a grenade over there, and for the rest we should be able to overpower this. Yeah, we've gone quite a bit since uh, hiding behind uh, the walls to, to survive, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go over this way. Then we go to the, to the, yeah, to the foundry. And then we just do a full circle of the map to finish things off. Okay. Here we go. How it is. Drop a few on that. <laughs> okay, better for large area suppression than actual damage dealing, but still very nice. <laughs> Well, see, if we can time things well, we could put us a, a, a salvo of that right in the middle of an approaching force. Let fire rain from the wall. Move. Actually, that's probably just going to be the center. Yep. Leave. Sadius, up close. Target's got caught. For Okay, he luckily still has the melt, huh? I actually forgot to... I actually forgot to rearm him, but that's proven to be very useful with all the vehicles we've encountered now. Yeah! Okay. Actually, before we go there... Push here, in case of retreat. Yeah. Oh, Expect this to be regarded. Uh, about the Chaos Space Marines. No. Oh. So the minion can do when they are not on a uh, mission a raid. like this. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, raid and actually even piracy. Makes sense. Hmm. Okay, one weakness to giving Avatus power armor or no. Yeah. Terminator armor is that his uh, his aides, I'll call them, or his his assistants, they get storm bolters instead of assault cannons, where normally they would have heavy bolters. So, yeah, he does get a, a drop in DPS that way. I think. Well, we're here. Might as well finish this thing off. Avatus. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, there there is still hit the for uh, first respect, Stone Bolter is still a terrifying weapon. Yeah, but they're going to be less effective at range. Hostiles purged. Okay. Some demons jumped in. There's a dreadnought. Tarkus, that's your target. With the melt gun, he's actually pretty good for all rounding, since he does good damage against. Red knots, as you can see here, and you have the grenades for infantry. Mm. 
But not too bad. Target get a grenade over there. Thaddeus, jump in the middle. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a bit odd that that freaking sorcerer just was hitting so hard when everything else... Well, <laughs> it's not like they're cutting through paper, but it's still a lot easier. Hmm. But then again, we've seen... All powerful. True. But he's, it still seems to be doing... Actually, the, the warp magic might be more effective against Terminator armor because it makes these units count as uh, super heavy infantry, I believe, which have other defensive stats, I think. Okay, back this way. And, of course, everyone in Terminator armor is going to be lagging behind, except for Avatus, who was the back line, now the front line. Oh, dear. Okay, yep, just going at it with, like, a, a spy wall. Should cover everyone. Oh, hello. There we go. I should double check what the effectiveness is on uh, storm bolters against super heavy armor and such. So that was a big hit. And I forgot to move the map pack back to the force commander. As much time as I spend on the equipment of everyone, I do keep forgetting stuff like that, huh? Yeah. Okay. Avatus back. Okay, take out that one. Avatus to the front. And not Avatus. Thaddeus to the front. Avatus there. Okay. Now, finish that thing off. Okay, I like that we now also have a, a counter when it, we need to destroy all the structures so that we know if we've missed any or not. Well, we, we would know anyways. Hello. Okay. <laughs> One of each rarity. Again, I've never seen any... I don't think I've ever seen anything above purple. So I'm presuming that is the maximum rarity that you can get on an item. Come on, let it up. Yeah. was you. Now, the Force Commander is on each and every mission, so they would be getting levels the most. Yep, and I don't quite call it the first commanding you, you <laughs> then. Well, if you read the text here, Killian, force commander. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, yeah, we can go around here, get the foundry, and then just one, two, three. Okay, this one is going to be a bit longer than the others. I just realized, that took a good thing think, since um, that means we are a bit more immersive in the gaming here. Oh, hold and on a second. Is... This is a familiar map. We defended this position quite a few times in the last game. Yeah. But it's been flipped, uh, it's been flipped around, basically. <laughs> and... Alien Slash? <laughs> yep, yeah, we'll open up more Alien Slash. <laughs> oh dear. Good. Now I'm reminded of, an, of a terrible joke. Not sure if I should repeat it though. No, I'm afraid what it is. Okay. Probably shouldn't. Okay. I probably could have done without sending him to run off, but I will. It, it's not that terrible, it's more like stupid. But I will. Okay. Now we just need to wait for Thaddeus to come back. 
Yeah, I didn't need to really. Ha I didn't need to have him retreat there. Okay, come on back, you. Actually, can you jump to there? Maybe. We can jump over gaps. I'm pretty sure. Take your position, brother. That would be a bit of quite a bit quicker. Hmm. I guess another little uh, complaint that I could have about this game would be to, that it doesn't show the cooldown times on this. And yeah, there we go. Lots fa that's a lot faster. Hmm. As you can probably see how the modding scene for this game actually is. Like, I typically check PC Gaming Wiki when I, uh, when I pick a game for streaming. It typically has a lot of fixes and such, but it doesn't typically bring up the modding scene. Hmm. Like, sometimes it does when they have upgraded graphics for older games or such, but... Oh, but someone, I think someone was getting juggled by the bloody tank there. Holy! They're not driving through! Yep. Catch them! Give them a ticket! <laughs> this isn't McDonald's. Get out of here. What? <laughs> because you said drive through? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Now I'm just picturing a, a Chaos Predator tank <laughs> rolling up to the McDonald's drive-thru. Oh, good god. Watching how much of the McDonald's will be left. Okay, it, it would be a quite literal drive-thru. Drive through the freaking building. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, where did that... Was that there already? Okay. Oh, that's me. I have to get to know what a mutton mutton is today. No. I'm confused for since it's not a muffin. It's a literally bullshit burger, which is an egg. I think I've actually had those a few times after work. After a night shift. Uh, yeah. It's good. Uh, as good as you could expect for fast food uh, like that. But for a quick for a quick and I guess relatively cheap breakfast they work. I just realized. Destroy them. Sausage, bread bun, egg. It's almost a miniature English breakfast. I don't think that's missing on the beans. And the tea. The beans. He's dead. Oops, oh, Thaddeus has lost his aids. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, okay, they're just, they were just chilling here. <laughs> oh, is he going to Sparta him? I don't think... <laughs> Oh, and he just oh. ceases to, oh, ceases to exist. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, there's, there's a thing to torso and some of the arm and a foot. Yep. <laughs> and now they're gone. Okay. Let's capture this point. Restock a bit. And then we push on. Okay. Now, what is that? Uh, that is what I'm hearing. That is. I'm not a drive through. Yep. Oh, he wants his, yep. his McMuffin. 
<laughs> well, we showed we we didn't get the McMuffin, but we did tell him where he could make stop it. Oh, <laughs> <Not the> <laughs> okay. Pushing on to the second last site. and just smack that thing. Okay, we got a we got a superior assault cannon. So that that is probably that, that is definitely going to deal more damage than Thaddeus. Not Thaddeus. What why did we keep mixing these two around? That is going to make Avatus uh, more damaging either way. Hmm. <clears throat> Right, there's someone behind the building. Yeah, okay, they're going from. to get a surprise. Hello. <laughs> yeah, just getting bullied by a bunch of guys in Terminator armor. <laughs> okay, last one. Now, any more surprises around here? Incoming. Move. Okay. I guess they're not doing that well anymore now that we, we killed off their spotters on Aurelia. And... Okay, that must be an invisible rally point for them here or something. Since they were retreating. That it will give them the opportunity to do it again. Okay. Move oh on. Boy. Actually, I th I think we were supposed to be coming from this way to trigger that. Okay. Yeah, there's a few cultists, but we can miss those. Uh, yeah, they were trying to go for the cultists that they spotted. Okay, get on over here. Oh, <laughs> the idiots came back. Okay, everyone, attack towards here. That should silence the heretics' guns. The Rosa's fragile guardsmen can advance without trembling now. Shut up, Abatus. Mm. Zeal and fury are rewarded with victory. Okay. Tome of Quickening. In these pages lies the, uh, the secrets of slipping through the time stream, uh, great, uh, greatly quickening the librarian's movements. Okay, yeah. Grants quickening, highly accelerated movements, knockback immune. Okay. Alright. Everyone stayed up, and speed. Oh, they, oh, they expected three. that to take a lot longer, actually. <laughs> okay. Wait. And... Everyone gets a level. Oh, but we've gotten some uh, corrupted stuff. Let's see. Detonating missile launcher. Let's see. Plus, plus 49 damage to all nearby enemies. Uh, sound strike pattern missile launcher armed with relic missiles. These projectiles feature a secondary fragmentation charge that creates a deadly bloom around the crack warhead's armor piercing blast. Okay. Then we have the Ages of Obliteration. It would make sense that we get corrupted armor from a, a corrupted from a yeah from a chaos temple. 88 armor plus two on stamina, range, and will, so very powerful. But it has plus four corruption. Now let's see. Stripped from a mortally wounded Astral Claw Renegade during the Badeb War, Tech Marine Domit. Don, yeah, Dominitius believes it his duty to restore this relic for use against the, and the enemies of man. He did not succeed. Okay. And we have the cruelty of Geofros. Uh, plus 10% melee damage. Only plus 2. Okay. Before his fall to heresy and madness, Geofros uh, 
I'm probably saying that wrong. Jeff Frost, I probably like that. Jeff Frost was a feared veteran of the Crimson Fists. An Inquisitor barred Je Jeff Frost from returning to Rain's world during his chapter's hour of need, instead pressing the Space Marine into service in the hunt for a single heretic within the undercity of Hive Qual uh, Qualitas on Turin Primus. Jeff Frost responded by slaughtering every underdweller he could find, many with this very weapon. Okay. And the Blood Tides. 10% uh, melee damage resistant and 15% damage. It's okay. Uh, plus three. When the demon prince Kurnox Voldorius initiated his assault on Cadia, this weapon was wielded in his army. Though the White Scars and Raven Guard eventually turned back the so called Blood Tide, the memory of Kurnox's uh, triumph still lingers within this chain blade. Okay. And the Mantine uh, Sarcophagus of Heroes. The sarcophagus of each dreadnought was once home to a mighty warrior of the chapter. Each time such a legend falls, the scorch marks of the uh, conflict that penetrated the sarcophagus are lovingly cleaned away and the surface further reinforced to sustain the next space marine blessed to serve the emperor in death. Yeah, he, even uh, the, the, many dreadnoughts can survive their pilots multiple times over, or can survive multiple pilots as long as the superstructure remains safe enough. And let's see, superior, a superior assault cannon, Astartes Mark II Absinia pattern. The assault cannon is a powerful suppression weapon. Unlike the heavy bolter, it is also effective against armored vehicles. It leaves a hand free to wield a power fist. Okay. And, oh yeah, 40.5 damage. That's almost double, I think. And we've determined, we've already read that. And the governor wants a word. Thank you, Commander. The 85th Vendeland has begun its assault on the Spire. The heretics are resisting, but without their defensive guns, they will crumble. It is good to see them suffering the wages of their sins. De Rosa out. <laughs> okay, she's out. To, <laughs> she's out to, for the kill. Now let's see. Pardon? Yeah. You're pardoned? It seems my stomach is a lot more upset with stuff recently. Okay. Brotherhood. Allies um, near Tarkus gain bonuses to armor, health, and health regeneration. If Tarkus is incapacitated, these bonuses are doubled. Okay. And the last one goes into there. And Avatus. Let's see. Uh, basic benefits of focus fire are extended to nearby allies, or become immune to knockback from conventional attacks when in cover. Okay, but he's in power armor, so he's already pretty much resistant. Yep, already knockback is immune. Uh, regains, re regains health with every kill he makes. We had this one before, but since this <clears throat> Chaos Rising reshuffles the things around a bit as well. Uh, let's see. Gains the frag missile ability when equipping missile launchers. Uh, Signum's artillery strike and the cyclone missile barrage also now consume energy instead of use supplies. Okay, let's work towards that. Oh. Um, wait, did you get? Did you get two levels? Okay, we'll get that. And you can finally, you finally get another pocket in your armor. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Another ex accessory slot. Okay, this one would be really powerful to use, but yeah, plus four corruption. That would immediately kick things to stage two, I think. Yeah, four points until next unlock. So best to avoid that thing. It. Or to equip it along with something that redeems to lessen the impact. Offsets an additional two points of corruption. Either way, let's continue here for a moment. Cyrus becomes the boss killer. And turn marks it. Regain health and energy when attacking the tar marked target. Let's put that back into storage for now. We'll, we'll give this to Cyrus whenever he's coming along. Otherwise, it's going to the commander. 
Swool. Uh, the sword can suppresses enemy units, including when used in the barrage. That would be really useful as well. Any survivors would be suppressed and basically useless. Zul can use his weapons when Ancient Defender is active. He remains immobile, however. Yeah, An Ancient Defender is that self-repair system, which parks his ass in place, but this would basically turn him into a massive freaking turret. Holy! Hmm. Yeah, let's go, let's go towards that. Then we go down the fire, to the firearms uh, line next. Jonah, uh, energy. Yep. Whenever he attacks an enemy, he regains energy. And let's put the next one there. Okay. Now, what missions do we have? We have the Judgment, and we have the Avatar to kill. So, what well... What the <laughs> heck? Hmm? And some wine gums here. And you know there's sometimes they've written stuff on the wine gums? Yeah. Apparently, one of them have a misprint. Okay. Uh, it's, it's supposed to say gums, but it still says... Cums. <laughs> you, you sure you got your uh, your wine gums from uh, the candy store and not the uh, adult store? I'm pretty sure the nearby grocery store is not an adult store. Thank you very much. <laughs> the Eldar okay. Will be here, Commander. They have congregated at the site of our climactic battle against the Tyranids. The Black Legion must take priority, mm. but ignoring the Eldar is unwise. At your discretion, pursue and eliminate these Xenos. Okay, this one we get the multi melter would make uh, Thul an absolute uh, vehicle killer. And another piece of Terminator armor. Let's see, what do we know about the Eldar Force? Very little. The Tyranids' destruction of the land exposed ancient Eldar ruins, however. This may be what has drawn them here in such numbers. You can expect to face Xenos, skimmer tanks, and walkers, as well as powerful infantry. Okay. Has the area changed since our battle with the Tyranids? The area remains a wasteland, but there have been some changes. Most notably, the Blood Ravens have erected a monument to those brothers who died fighting the Tyranids. It stands above the spot where Sergeant Everos was entombed with his war gear. Also, an Imperial Shrine now stands at the site of our battle with the Hive Tyrant. Purging that temple of Zeno's infection would be a laudable act, Commander. Okay, what? A, laud a laudable act. Uh, basically... Uh, praiseable, a good act. Okay. Uh, we've already heard what Tarkas has to say about this. So let's go towards our gear. And Avatus, let's actually get you out of that armor for a moment. Because I've checked up on the, the wiki, and that says that the Avatar actually counts as a vehicle in part. So rocket launchers should be very accurate against it. Yeah, that one does less damage, so it's going. 372, okay. Ooh. Any armor with range up. Uh, let's see, we're not giving you that. Range damage there. Okay. Hmm. Uh, once we're done with the stream, I think I'll s spend a bit of time sorting everything out into the specific classes of things, like bolters with bolters, uh, and just sell stuff that we don't need, like these improved heavy bolters. Okay. Uh, Tarkus is coming along. Avatus is coming along. Uh, let's see. Jonah can be food? really powerful. Uh, we can bring Thule along. And we should probably equip someone with... We haven't used these in a while, so put those away. Where's the Meltas? There's the Meltas. Okay. Uh, yeah. Who shall we bring along instead of Thaddeus? I'm tender with fool. Okay, he, he, he is basically a favorite to bring along since, well, he is literally a freaking tank. 
And let's put that away. And put the... Can, can I... Okay, apparently you can't just put it in another one here. There. Hmm. Okay, a little quirk of the game. Okay. Uh, also, now that... I, now that I was talking about mods, I have heard that there is a fan rework of this game, which basically makes the game like if it were a direct sequel in the same style of Dawn of War 1. I think it's called Dawn of War 2 Eternal. The Eldar. Right. Okay. The most direct path is not always the wisest. Your space marines are nearly always outnumbered. It does not benefit you to fight on the enemy's terms. Scout, flank, and split the enemy forces when possible. Look for opportunities to bypass enemy strongholds and instead strike where they are weak. I never thought we would return here. It smells worse than a meridian slum. Rotting Tyranid smells like glory to me. Focus on the task at hand. Xeno still pollute this place. Okay. Well, let's get the move on. I'm not really seeing directly if this is a reused map as well. I doubt it, considering all the... Okay. These Wraith Guard. Yeah. Heavy infantry, they count as that. It's not vehicles, they're too small. The bigger ones do count as vehicles. Already getting a good amount of loot. Okay. Now, if the Avatar really is counted as a vehicle, then those missiles should be accurate each time, instead of the plasma that, well, was very inaccurate the last time we faced an Avatar. Okay. I heard Elder, but I did not tell. That's a bunch of them. Tarkus, grenade. Tool, modal on. It's anti armor. He just threw an arrow on his shoulder. <laughs> uh, it's a, I, I think that's a. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a space marine superstition. But instead of salt, you throw an Eldar. Oh, come on! Okay, get you out of there. Might as well capture that. I hardly ever use this ability, but it is supposed to be used to disengage from melee units. That was not close enough, apparently. Nope. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a shrine there. We should go for that. Okay. There. And we'll deal with whatever we come across. What did you shoot at there? Yep, they're coming. I th no, they're not. Okay. Oh, now that one is a vehicle for certain. The Raid Lords. Also, get your Terminator asses moving. There we go. <laughs> Dealt with most of them. Okay. Uh, okay, only a few left. A few grenades should deal with that. Hmm. 
Okay, one Devastator was unlucky there, but everyone else pulled through. Okay, the rest of you move forwards. Avatars will catch up. Okay. Guardsmen are calling this place Gabriel's Miracle. Credit belongs to the Emperor. Captain Angelos will be the first to say so. <laughs> okay, that assault cannon works wonders against vehicles as well. Darkers, grenades. Okay, due to all the gunfire, all I heard was assault cannon. Thank you for the mental image skill. Good. <laughs> salt and cannon, salt and pepper cannons instead of uh, salt shakers. Wait, you don't know about the salt in weapons? Uh, I know that. I know there is one anti-fly thing or something that's called an assault cannon. What was a salt gun? But yeah, you you load it with salt pellets. Yep. No, I can see if you shoot salt from a dreadnought, those be some shot to shot salt. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be firing off an entire salt mine. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there's no need to go this way. There's an opening here that we can squeeze through. And then comes the children and wonder why does this orc taste so salty? <laughs> I'll take that. There. There's okay. Water. Well, don't die. No promises. Okay. Everyone, focus this point. Armored units ahead. We should flank them. Or we could crush them in a direct assault. Oh, no, that's quite a few of them. Okay. Dark is taking quite the beating. What's this? Feel no pain? Yeah, yeah. The temporary immunity. Avatars focus the tanks. Okay, Tarkus took a full hit. So, hey, hey Tatum, how are you doing today? <laughs> Thank you for the boot. Uh, hello there, little Tatum. <laughs> okay, I, I hope the audio balancing is good because, yeah, sometimes, the, for some reason, the, the, yeah, for some reason, the levels at which the games are good can vary a bit. So, I hope the game isn't too loud. It wasn't last time I had it on this level. Avatus. Tarkus. Oh, are you gonna keep going to which it uh, should be? I, my streams typically go for two hours, so I'll be busy for another 40, and then I'll be able to join for the event. Oh, okay, now I get. Yeah, since that starts at uh, 11, and we oh, typically go from 8. <laughs> I was wondering, are they talking about the witching hour? <laughs> okay, assault the rods there. Carcass, focus fire. Ooh, you. Uh, I can't actually use it on yourself. Okay, finish them off with the grenades and capture. Okay. Yeah, which it starts at 11, we'll be going till 10 about, so another 20 minutes of I ish. Basically, uh, able to do a nice one hour break before. Uh... Yeah, prop on oh, shen <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> so, yeah, no I worries about that, Faden. Okay. Uh... 
so we will need some repairs. <laughs> I still find it very funny that they put a helmet up up front there. I can't like, explode, but uh, are you trying to ask him for a high five? <laughs> Maybe he was getting repaired, but I'm pretty sure they see through the the gap here. It's a bit hard to see at this angle, but I think the viewing gap is over here. So why the he the helmet is up there, I don't know. Okay. It's symbolic or something. Well, time to play the villain. Uh, time to play the villains of uh, the Avatar movie and deal with small. You should have <laughs> away when you had the chance, Eldar. The remains of a craft will still lay among these benighted worlds. We will not leave while the souls of the lost lie scattered on the wind, and until Idrinel's vision is fulfilled at last. Your witch's vision died with her on Meridian. Spare me your primitive obstinance, human. Brace for psychic blast. Warp fire, clear the area. Warp fire, clear the area. And Brace there's the psychic blast. Guitar. It summons warp oh. fire. Your efforts are futile, humans. The Avatar, the bloody hand of Cain. Hello, Peter. Who will survive? Hey, Peter. How about yourself, Peter? How are you doing? Yeah. Oh, you move back quickly. There must be anti-armor. Okay, this one is easier to deal with than the last one. Uh, that's why there's freaking sp warp spiders around. Okay. Set you to self-heal. This is happening quickly. Okay. Avatus. Yeah, Avatus pull back. Darkus fall back. Force Commander will be phased into a. Well, we'll be phasing this thing in a duo for the moment. What is he waiting for? So we'll come in. Is he from the server? I'm doing good. What are you doing here? Yep. Celestine's hurting. Okay. Do not let his sacrifice be in vain. Yeah. You come back quickly, Zool. Tag in. Okay, Avatus. Arcus. So, yeah. Uh, what have you been up to, Pizza? I hope things are going better than the last few times. Focus fire, grenades. Mow those down, thank you. Tarkus, chase after. It will take a lot of damage during all of that. Okay, you heal up. Tarkus, move. You. Now, the uh -huh. strength of board can recover. Yes, die, Xenos, filth. Battles like this are good for the soul. What little is left of it. Avatus, do not mistake bloodlust for righteous fury. That way lies damnation. Okay, we just vaporized one last war spider. <laughs> This victory will long be remembered in the halls of glory. <clears throat> Let's see. Datus' tomb. Okay. And we got most of them. Everyone stayed up. And how are we on speed? Yeah, the typical three. Let's see. Pizza. Eh, it's going. I'm still slowly going blind in both my eyes. And I'm having to use it. Uh, having to use TTS sometimes to talk and read chat. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Let's see. We got armor of Calderas, 14% sight range, and when hit with a ranged weapon, 50% chance per hit to recover 25 arm uh, health. 
The Blood Raven Thomas held the Desert Gate of Argus during the Greenskin invasion of his native Calderas, allowing Davian Thule to organize a counterattack. Thomas fell to the Tyranids later in the Crusade, but his recovered armor is, relic, is a relic of the chapter. A tribute to the harsh warriors recruited from Calderas. Okay. And the Oath of Uncompromising Victory. It's a redeeming item, plus one. Uh, gives energy regen, and when hit by a ranged weapon, receive extra damage when hit with ranged weapons. Okay. I shall not Ooh. give even a meter of scorched earth to the enemies of man. Okay. Wait. Uh, I'm confused with what it said there. What? Uh, oh, offset additional one point of crop shop and equipped. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Reinforced power armor. Mark 8 errant type power armor fitted with additional ceramide plates to make it the wearer even more resilient in combat. Heavy bolter of vigor. Astartes to, to adorn with prayers and vic. I think this game also adds a lot of more uh, randomized stuff like this, which it, where it gets the default descriptor, but it gets, uh, yeah, it gets some extra stuff, you know, some perks instead of uh, just having only common items like this, well, like here. Uh, we had that already, I think. The Rosarius Imperial Relic that can render all your squads invulnerable for a brief time. Celestine's Girding, plus one health regeneration to user and all nearby allies, and plus two energy regen as well. The Clanticles of the Palatine uh, Crusade tell of uh, when St. Celestine's body was set down among the honored dead. Her sister saw that life lingered within her yet, and reverent, referentially approached, clearing, cleaning her body of the blood and filth of battle until she stood flawless before them. A fragment of the barding she wore that holy day was forged into this miraculous armor. Okay. St. Celestine. Saint... Isn't that a living saint or something from the Imperium? Yeah, I don't... It's type of saint, yes. Is, is, I'm, not, I'm not very little of her, sadly enough. I'm going to need to look her up at some point. I know Hex mentions them one time, I think. Let's see. But, uh, basically, a living saint is the imperial equivalent of a demon. Basically, an imperial demon, you could say. Let's see. Yeah, they, they, look, they are very angelic looking. Yeah. A uh, coronet of ice enhances vanish, can target enemies to freeze them in stasis, no level requirement, plus 50 energy. Enemies in stasis are immune to damage. Okay, basically a timeout. Uh, when paired with the Tome of Mist, this psychic hood allows the librarian to shroud an enemy in the warp, temporarily freezing them in stasis, invulnerable but unable to act. And last but not least, we have Datus' tomb. Uh, plus two stamina, name melee skill, and the usuals of Terminate armor. One of the Blood Ravens tasked with engaging the Tyranid Swarm during the climatic mission, mission on Typhon, Datus fought for hours before falling to a mighty Carnifax, buying his comrades enough time to achieve victory. Okay. Hmm. I, was, I was expecting someone to speak up about that. Uh, yeah. We didn't find it, but if we made our way over to the monument, we would have gotten the option to destroy it for some gear underneath it, since, well, it did say that there was a Battle Brother there buried with their war gear, but very obviously that would have been a corrupting event. And I'm not sure if the equipment you would get would be corrupted as well. Probably not, since it was a normal bl Blood Raven taking it, but the fact that it was obtained through desecration probably might have corrupted it instead. Oh dear. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going down this way. I probably should start working up Tarkus's energy more, since the yeah he does need to have the you know, he does need to have the energy ready to use his grenades. Pardon. Continue towards that. Stool. Yeah, let's move towards this. Cyrus. 
uh, sharing his mastery extends infiltration to nearby allies when his squad is not moving. Okay, that would be good for say, setting up ambushes with the entire squad. And provides a bonus to Cyrus's attack damage. Okay. Let's move towards that. Jonah, you keep going to in your ranged ability as well. And let's see. Anyone? Any new equipment? Avidus gets his armor back. And that new assault cannon. Oh. Let's see. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Okay, apparently Storm Bolters have the same range as Assault Cannons. Okay. Did not know that. Uh, let's see. Ages of Obliteration. Yeah, we're not touching that. Is this armor better than any anyone else has at the moment? Five extra armor. Same on stamina. More health. More melee. Okay, you get this. Even though it looks pretty much the same. Avatus, is this better than you can have? Uh, yeah, it is, though you you don't get too much use out of the extras. It'll still give you more health, all the same. Uh, okay, you get pants. <laughs> and no other weapons that are better for anyone, I think, at the moment. Avatus has that. Let's also give him this, so he is at least somewhat better at defending himself oh. in melee. Even if, it's, even if it makes him want to bonk everyone he sees. Uh, we haven't looked at your armor for a bit. 70, 60. Let's give you that. Just doing a quick comparison. This gives him, yeah, plus 10 armor and plus 15 melee. All of these can be sold. It's clearing up a good amount and get rid of that one as well. Okay. Now, what other missions? We only have the Judgment of Carrion left. Okay, this might be the last mission depending on how long this is going to take. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my body is still set on summertime. <laughs> we need to reactivate the ancient logic engine aboard the Judgment of Carrion. To recover the proper activation rights, you must locate data slates hidden in the surrounding decks. Because you will be operating deep within the Space Hulk, the Retribution can only offer very limited support. Jump packs will be useless in the confined space, although teleport systems will function. Thank you. How do we know the logic engine has not been destroyed? The logic engine is secured in a sealed vault. Only the engine's activation rights will open the vault and grant us access. Okay, th that was the first time that the audio level changed mid in the middle of uh, the dialogue itself. It went up a few decibels there. Yeah. Okay. Strange. What dangers do we face? Xenos and demons infest the judgment of Carrion, Commander. But the lingering warp energies in the ship pose a far graver danger. With prolonged exposure, such energies could drive even the bravest space marine to madness. The boarding party should return to the retribution as soon as it can. Yeah. Let's see. Recover the logic engine. Taking too long to complete this mission corrupts all deployed squads. So yeah, we need to be careful about that. Assault jump, orbital bombardment, artillery strike, and other support abilities will not function. Ambushes com could come at any moment and be prepared for close quarters combat. Okay, that means that Avatus is going to be pretty useless here. Since Unless this is going to be quite. Uh, since it, most of it is going to be close quarters. And his stick is staying at long range. So, Avatus, you get benched. And. I don't think I don't think Cyrus would be too useful here. Thaddeus will be because he can teleport around. Yeah. So. Oh, he says hmm. terminate armor. I think we'll keep Davian on. Since well, he does mow. He does absolutely mow down whenever he can get the shots off. Uh, Thaddeus, you have that armor. 
Is this one any better for you? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, well, it's somewhat better in some aspects. It's giving more health. Actually, plus energy, plus will. I think this armor might be better for Avatus. So, let's see. Yeah, energy. Yeah, he has much better use for the energy since he it, that sustains his... Uh, <clears throat> That sustains his uh, focus fire. Okay. Uh, but we don't have any weapons to give you at the moment. Or other than the base stuff. Uh, let's really? see. Hmm. Actually, you get the flamer. And the pump fist. And Thaddeus gets this. We can take the fist from Avatar since he won't deploy. There. Okay. Wait, you mm. have a flamethrower in the fit? Oh no. Yep. <laughs> Back to this again. And you are going to get a flamethrower. We only have this artifact flamethrower here. But it is going to be more useful at close range than the Melton. Okay. I'm gonna have to tell this to you. It's not Sunday. <laughs> uh, let's see. Any so other stuff? Your... I'm sorry. Let's see. All of those are going to be useless. So, anyone have anything he can use? Demo charges, maybe? Yeah, let's bring those along. There. Thaddeus. Uh, wait. Oh, you can't use that, can you? Whilst. Yep. Uh, let's see. Then, Tarkus, give up your little scroll here for the moment. And bring these along. Yes, you're, the, you're now the explosive guy. You're the grenadier. We need to re okay. The search is on. To access the logic engine, you need to recover a number of data slates hidden aboard the Judgment of Carrion. These items await in standard supply crates, so explore as much of the supply hull as the, of the Space Hulk as you can and destroy all the crates you locate. Other precious goods may be in the crates as well. Commander, you must locate ancient data slates to access the vault. They should be in data racks of some sort. We have no time to waste. The foul resonance of the warp is already palpable. Okay. Yeah, we have 20 minutes before everyone gets corrupted. Yep. And a bunch of preppers. Fallen brother, Bonaparte of the Fifth Company. Look, an apothecary's reductor vial still intact. It contains Bonaparte's progenoid glands, the chapter's holy genes. If an apothecary collected it, why leave it here? A fair question. I cannot overlook the opportunity to recover Blood Raven's gene stock. Be vigilant for other vials, or signs of an apothecary. Commander, the rules indicate Bonaparte still serves in the chapter Honor Guard. How can that be? Okay. We might be looking at a bit of warp time fuckery from the looks of it. Okay. Paddy has captured that, and yeah, we need to go look all over the place for the supply crates. And we'll collect gene seed while we're at it. Yeah, gene seeds are very important. Yeah, since you need one for every uh, space marine to make one. Yeah, but I think you can make new ones just... With difficulty. Yeah. Is anyone going to capture that? Okay. Also, another reason I'm bringing Thule along with this is that he can just waltz through some obstacles. Okay. And we're dealing with gene stealers. 
Oh yeah. These things love space folks. Only without a leader creature nearby. Remember, when connected to their synapse web, all tyranids become deadlier. Okay. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, locked door. So in some ways, oh, that's a data slate. In some ways, that makes uh, Tyranids on board Space Hawks even more dangerous. Yeah. Here. These things are usually the ones that can handle some, mm. quote unquote, some independence. Uh, Is there the usual the ones that make the least look old? Thaddeus, jump in. Here we go. Oh, there's another Zorn probe. Oh, they're, fight they're fighting amongst themselves there. They're okay. Oh. Every one of them that kills another Tyranid is another one that we don't have to deal with. Brain thingy. Zoentro. Thank you. Yes, that's what I was I meant. I did really meant that. Give the word. Okay. Strike hard. Let's fly. It is done. Move off. Okay. Parkers, grab the goodies. So move along. Okay. The flamethrower is also good for popping the crates since it, it strikes in an AoE. Oh, Carnifax. Yeah. Oh. It is done. <laughs> move on. Use a okay, luckily it's we had best exercise caution. Tyranids aboard these derelicts can evolve to suit the environment. Yes, I sense powerful psychic echoes. Even against the warp energies. I will find okay, just walk through the wall. Yeah. Okay. If there's something like it that can handle tra warp travel in a space hole, it's Tyranids. Oh, that's not another one. And I will remind people, Tyranids cannot get corrupted by chaos. Uh, I think Carnifacts also count as vehicles, except for the Meltas, because they're not metal. It is uh, through, smash. That is crash. Uh, never mind, it's already down. <laughs> okay. Tactical squad heading out. Destroy them. Supplies, medical, oh, and another gene seeds. Explosive yeah. force upon the death. <laughs> Okay, this is a dead end, so we go this way through, so prepare for a moment. Everyone else, move on. The Terminators can also just walk through certain stuff. Be right back, I'm just gonna need to go to the bathroom. It's gonna okay. be rare for me to do mid of a stream. Assault squad ready. Kill those Tyranids! Okay, there is Okay, I'm pretty sure those were supposed to spawn on our side, but oh well. Okay, Thaddeus gains a level. Yep, there they come. Yep. Out of faith. Okay. And that's that dealt with. Okay. Yeah, it is close quarters, but we can still deal with things mostly with heavy firepower. Very heavy firepower. Oh, 
let's see, anything over here? Another slain marine. No, multiple slain marines. Okay, that is where we just were. And we do need to scout this place for every little inch of it to find all of the things we want. Yep, Fatty is just walking down the pipes. Okay, that's that dealt with. Tarkus, capture. Understood. Okay, and our goal is behind this door. <coughs> See, this is where the zoanthrope was earlier. Take your position, brother. Okay, everyone move forwards. We'll duck into here. And then just circle around clockwise. Okay. Another fallen brother. Veteran Lucanus, also of the Fifth Company. And another reductor vial. Martellus, what do the rolls say about Brother Lucanus? Killed in the Karava campaign. I was at Karava. I recall no Lucanus. Commander, both Bonaparte and Lucanus served in an expedition aboard the Judgment of Carrion. I shall try to uncover more about this expedition. The chapter shall not forget your deeds this day. Zeno's in the gantries. Get ready. Thaddeus, oh Marcus, oh and yeah. Welcome back. We're dealing with some shenaniganery here, it seems. People who are supposed to be dead elsewhere are here, or people who are alive are here. <laughs> yeah, just making sure. It's... Okay, clean up. Okay, we move to here. We still need more data slates, only one. And I don't know if it is random, if in yeah, if it's random in which boxes it spawns or not. So we might get lucky, or we might need to keep looking through out the entire damn thing. And one of one of the targets of the squad got nailed by a spore bomb. Okay, attack moves there. Kill everything along the way. Grenades. Oh, blessed cage. Okay. That sounds good, especially since it's purple. And Agony's Harbinger. Okay. Someone capture that. Someone break these. Is the another. Oh, there's the last one. You have enough data slates, Commander. I shall begin the activation rites. Okay. Everyone move over here. Okay. Capture the gate switch. Okay. Ready for orders. Let's see. Thule doesn't need repairs. Targus is the fastest, so he can go capture already. Okay, and we still have plenty of time. Yeah, we have about 12 seconds. Okay. Wait, wait, mm. no. Let's see. Hmm. One thing that might be a bit of annoyance to some people, I guess, would be that in the original Dawn of War, you have to deal with Fog of War. But whenever we arrive somewhere in this game, the general layout is already known. Which I guess makes sense since this is the recruiting worlds of this of the Blood Ravens, but it being revealed here on a Space Hawk... No, space Hulk? I almost said Space Hawk. Uh, that would not make as much sense. Depends. They could have been able to make scanners or have blueprints uh, from before. But then the blueprints could be unreliable. Brother. 
and another gene seed. Sergeant Sarpedon, 5th Company. Another member of the same expedition. The records list Apothecary Galen as the leader. Which explains the reductor vials, but not why they were left behind. See? Another door blocks our way. There is a data slate on the door. Xenos detected. Eliminate them. The logic engine must not be damaged. Okay, and hype tyrant boss fights. <laughs> of course, it would never be that easy, huh? Soul, suppress, Tarkus, bomb, Thaddeus, smash. What? Tyrant guards. Okay, I don't know more these. Yeah, those guard was a mention in the pyramid screens. But I'm made from space marine DNA. Okay. And they are the body guards. And then you go through the surf if you get this between the high tyrants. Well, guess we better deal with them as well then. Thaddeus, keep the pressure on. Get out of the gunk. What are you doing up there? Thaddeus, get out of there. Everyone focus the tyrant and its guards. Ow! <laughs> Just got a face full of myoplasma there. Deal with that thing. Cool, fire. Armor of faith. Okay. Another one? The foul thing is dead. Let us get to the logic engine. some sort of Vox recording from centuries ago. I will analyze it as best I can. This victory will long be remembered in the Halls of Glory. Well, that's no good news. Armor of Infernus. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone stayed up, and we made decent speed on that. <laughs> Very good speed, apparently, according to the game. Okay, and levels for everyone deployed. Now, let's see. Uh, normal, Venable Sniper Rival, Shroud of Faith. For the damned are truly blind and cannot see the, the power of faith. This, master, uh, yeah, this master-crafted armor bears the blessings of the Order of the Bloody Rose, who gifted it to the Blood Ravens. Sacred blessings are said to shroud the wearer from the eyes of the enemy. I mean, okay. Hmm. Are you sure they were gifted? <laughs> yeah, I think in the I think in the dictionary of the Blood Ravens, gifted and stolen are the same words. Oh, hello. Uh, blessed Kate, plus three to stamina, plus two to range, plus two to strength, 25% movement speed, 110 energy, and 10% range damage resistance to all users and nearby allies, and no drawbacks. This is a really powerful redemptive item. According to your archives, this gilded suit of Terminator armor was taken to, to Terra some three millennia ago. There it was brought before the Golden Throne itself. Those few worthy enough to wear it say the presence of the Emperor resonates in the armor to this day. 
Okay. You, Good you're thing we gonna found wear out. it. You're yeah, gonna we're, wear it. <laughs> yeah, we're putting that on. Let's see. Agony's Harbinger. This deadly bolt fires custom bolts laced with a paralytic toxin. The Vindicare assassin Vonalis abandoned his deadly Exodus rifle in favor of this dark weapon. Okay. 50% chance to slow on hit. Okay. The, the good thing with... The good thing with this thing as well is that as long as we equip something that is no more than plus three corrupting, the armor will completely negate all corruption effects. Oh. So, Armor of Fate for the Librarian. This revered armor is today fitted with a mastercrafted psychic hood, but is said to have once formed the core of Chaplain Sonorat's uh, power armor. Blessings of the Chaplain's Holy Rosarius are said to resonate still in the psychic chambers of the armor. Oh, Rosarius becomes energy-based. Okay, and plus 20 melee and range. That's a good armor. Uh, shielded you know, plating. Uh, Mastercrafted dreadnought plating with a built-in relic force generator. The invisible energy field coating the dreadnought reflects a portion of any attack. Okay. And last but not least, the armor of Infernus. 50% chance to burn a melee attacker. Let's see. Let the fires of hate be your armor. Secretly taken from the corpse of a failed heretic of the Alpha Legion at the end of the Tartarus campaign, this armor resonates with ruinous power. When wounded, the wearer can be wreathed in, in Imperium flames which consume nearby enemies. Okay. Your prize had best be worth sending us into that foul place, Tech Marine. Recovering Gene Seed alone is worth the risk, Abatus. I will begin analysis of the logic engine right away, Commander. We have also received several distress signals from across the sector. Well, that can't be any good. Yeah, though we should probably save them to next time. Yeah. Oh, hello, Aragas. The Chaos Lord Aragas has issued it a challenge to you and all Blood Ravens to face him in battle. He waits on Aurelia, calling you and your chapter brothers cowards. And... Okay, that's the last newest there. Uh, crisis at Capital Spire. Okay, it looks like that attack of the Bureau Guard didn't go that well, It's it, it seems. Okay. Yeah, before we go, let's still put out these little points here. Actually, before I do that, let's give you the, the cage. That already maxes that out. Okay, that saves us a point. Uh, don't well, we keep... I think you meant to say give me the cage uh, as in <laughs> yourself. Yeah, I'm still pro most. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm still going to refer to them mostly as the uh, <clears throat> the commander, just to make it simpler and to not to make it seem like I'm stroking my own ego. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. With every kill he makes, the commander's maximum health increases. These effects last until the end of the current deployment. Okay, that is really powerful if, if we can smack down a bunch of, uh, of fonder enemies. Basically, that's uh, the same thing as Nasus in League of Legends, if you manage to get the last hit with his, base, with his uh, first ability. And yes, okay. I played a lot of Nasus when I, Nasus when I did play League of Legends. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Corrupt Cruelty of Jephros. Yeah, plus two corruption. But since we have the armor, that's going to be negated. We could even equip one more thing that corrupts. But I don't think any accessories can corrupt. But if we had a plus one uh, Storm Fist or something, or not Power Fist or something, we could equip that. Okay, uh, melee. When using to victory, the force commander stuns any infantry in his path. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, let's let's ma try and max this out. Then we go down the last uh, the energy range. Tarkus, there. Okay, when tactical events are active, Tarkus gains additional bonuses to non-bolter weapons, increased rate of fire with plasma, increased range with melta, and damage more damage over time with flamers. Okay. Ooh. And let's keep moving towards maxing that out. Thaddeus, you go melee still. Actually, undo that, since you're no longer getting plus two 
over here. There we go. And so you get your DACA upgraded. <laughs> okay. Oh and a perfect timing on getting a call there. Give me a second. Uh, come on. Give me a sec. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Okay, getting asked to check for the leaks since, well, it's storming now. Okay. Yeah, the uh, perfect scary movie weather. <laughs> okay. We'll hear those distress calls next time. But for now, uh, there seems... I, I added a little something in on the end uh, screen here, so do tell me if it is too loud for anyone on the stream. I'm basically using it as a little test for the future since, well, when it's typically just us talking, so that can get maybe a little bit uh, boring, I guess. So let's see if it works. Yeah, that should be putting up the ghoul room music from Ghostmaster now. Okay. Yeah, I hear it. I hear Exit the game. Like and before we end the stream, we're going to look for someone to raid. Uh, my main concern with the music is that it should, it's supposed to be mostly background, so it doesn't drown either of us out on the recording. Okay. Uh, Discord, change the screen share window. Yep. Give me a second on this. There. Switch, go live. Uh, yeah, I, I moved the Twitch over to my other monitor, so I don't need to black it out anytime I accidentally pop it up on screen anymore. Okay, let's have a look. There is a lot of people online, probably mostly doing Halloween streams. So let's see, we have Nice, we went to them last time, so they're off the list. Cider Delish is playing Fantasy, St uh, Fantasy Star Online Episode 1 and 2. I remember they, I think they streamed a Fantasy Star game a long while ago, I think. We have Chubbers, the Moon Seal, who is streaming Lies of Pi. Hime Samashiro is playing Phasmophobia, very fitting. Slooptube is playing Dark Souls 3. I'm a Flanker is playing Ready or Not. WBPL is streaming Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. It, that's a game I don't hear too much about. It's it's a very curious game. Never heard of it. <laughs> I guess that makes him a good target to rate, but let's still go down the list for now. We have Smoops Out of Nonsense, who is playing Project Zomboid again. We showcased that recently. We have Tear of Grace, who is streaming Alan Wake 2. Uh, Touch Scaly Tail with Heretic's Fork. And last but not least, we have Halloween with World of Horror. Okay. Oh. Any, which is also a very fitting uh, horror <laughs> Halloween game. That got its uh, one point over release recently, I believe. You know what, one, what else got a new uh, or rather a new makeover recently? Uh, what then? Slenderman the Arrival. But it's All a 10-year right. anniversary makeover. Okay. Let's see. Just taking a little peek here in the recommended. Okay. But, yeah, the, the thing which stops the zombie is that, well, you play a zombie. Yeah. It's, it's sort of like a Minion Master-like game. And that's, well, you're a zombie. You make more zombies. Use your zombies to not die. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shall we raid the uh, WB then? Yeah, let's. Okay. Copy. And then we head to our place. Flash raid and paste. Apparently, I've hit caps lock at some point. And, uh, yeah. I don't... I don't know if I'll be streaming my side of the uh, the Witchet event with Tatum later. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Uh... You're, you're not going to be there anyway, because that's uh, your sleepy time. But, yeah. yeah. Either way... Um, 
maybe we could do a stream tomorrow. Like, I, I think we really should move our typical multiplayer streams with the rest, at least, to uh, Monday, since Liz doesn't have time limits there, since they don't have to work on those days. Um, I think I may mean, agree with you there, but that does sound more practical. Yeah, so we can go longer without them having to leave. We could yeah, maybe do... It also works better for you since uh, you also have a sometimes busy on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, maybe we could do the occasional Valheim stream on uh, Wednesdays. The, <clears throat> the Glacier Boy could join in sometimes with that. They wanted to do that uh, previously, I believe. Yeah, I think they probably still do. Okay, we'll have to look at that. And um, yeah, Thursday we will be continuing with this game. And I think we will be busy with it for a few weeks more. But I have already planned out what to stream once we're done with this game. And well, Retribution after that. And uh, yeah, for now though, thank you everyone else for watching now or later. Thank you uh, Pizza Lover, and thank you Tatum. And uh, thank you as always, Drakir. You wait as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. <laughs> okay, but for now, let's get that raid started. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone. Watch out for under penguins. <laughs> <laughs> That's a under new one. Eagles, I mean, <laughs> penguins, what? <laughs> yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs>